seeing the vote. Uh, Constitution 11-12, number one, has passed. On September 13th, a 10 to 5 vote by the Student Government Association Senate affiliated controversial student organization Youth for Western Civilization. Tuesday's SGA meeting drew more than 150 students and administrators to the Potomac Lounge, where the meeting was moved from its usual location in the Lock Raven Room. For close to an hour, students could step up to a mic and address the Senate with their concerns about the conservative stance Youth for Western Civilization takes on a variety of topics. As a tuition and fee paying student of Towson University, this is not a group that I would like to see my money going to support. Because essentially, if they do get a budget and turn it in, and it does get approved, that's what would happen. The money that I pay my diverse, multicultural school would go to support this group. And that is something that I can't stand behind and just let happen. And I'm inviting everyone, regardless of the color of your skin or your religious background, to come and join us that sounds like the very, that actually sounds more diverse than most of our diversity groups on campus. All we're here to do is stand for traditional values, which the silent majority of Americans can agree with is what, is what they think. So before you go off and li listen to the left has to say, hear what I'm saying. And honestly tell me, have you ever heard of a white supremacist support Israel, support the Jewish people, support African Americans, support uh, Hispanic Americans that have made contributions to our country? That doesn't sound like a hate group to me. I'm not afraid. And if you guys do support them, and you do allow them to become actual members and have their group affiliation and have a budget, I'm okay with that. Because I will go and I will join their group, and I will play devil's advocate. Not in a cynical way, not in a, I'm going to disrupt your group and absolutely hurt whatever you have to say and backstab you guys. But just as a reminder that <coughs> I have my opinions too. And as a group, it's okay to have different opinions, be in the same group. That's all I gotta say. Youth for Western Civilization President Matthew Heimbach said he was thankful the SGA passed his group's constitution and affiliated them as a student organization. Well, the way we feel, the fact the SGA has taken a really brave step in supporting us and allowing us to be SGA affiliated, well, one, I think it's great. And the reason I think it's great is, again, it's not for us. It's for the silent majority of students on this campus that are f afraid of what we just experienced. We experienced two hours of people coming up and telling us how much they basically hated us and how much they disliked everything we were standing for. And I really am fearful that if we're such a diverse campus, then why expressing ideas that, again, the majority of Americans share opens you up to two hours worth of hatred that easily would have continued if the SJ would have allowed it. So this is a victory for all students on our campus. The whole Towson University basically you know, it's like, it's written on this actual sign, student diversity, like, is what Towson stands for. And I really think this group is going against everything that Towson stands for. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, I was a little bit uh, upset that people were, were talking so bad about us, but overall I'm, I'm glad that the SGA uh, did approve us, and um, I'm really thankful for that um, because I was, I was losing some hope there um, towards the middle of, of everyone saying their piece. But, um, I'm, I'm very grateful for that, and I hope we can change people's opinions. The phrase is, actions speak louder than words. They've been passed now, so see what the group's going to do, and if you don't like what they're going to do, then, you know, get your movements together, but wait and see, because nothing's happened yet. They've just been passed. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about, about violating SGA policy. Um, I know that we're not planning anything that's, that's particularly awful. Um, so I'm not particularly worried about that. And I hold out hope that the other students who were, who were up there in front of us and the ones who are going to be um, demonstrating in opposition to us will still be able to be reasonable and, and take our views and, and share their own without resorting to violence. You guys were the last line. I mean, like, you, like, I like how you guys kind of give yourself a little bit of leeway in saying like, oh, do what the Supreme Court are going to do come down on us and you know it's going to be passed either way but yeah you guys were like the last line of fence you guys are our representation and there hasn't been a positive response to your legislation yet that, to this practice right now to, to your vote there, there's yet to be a positive response so clearly there's something up I do have a bit of fear though for the very idea that there's so many students that are standing against us and attempting to organize because I've already today alone had slurs hurled at me and had threats given to me. This was, I guess, my first interaction with the SGA. And um, not, I, I don't have any 
any hatred or any um, sour feelings towards the YWC group. My only disappointment was that the SGA um, didn't want to they didn't want to say no to passing their group because they were worried about what altercations would come along their way later on. The group's affiliation allows them to reserve space to hold meetings and events, and they can be granted a single sum of money next semester. For The Tower Light, I'm Editor-in-Chief Lauren Slavin.